Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Story Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LV426, a collection of asteroids that we have been exploiting now for a little while. Last time we made our first steps onto Sharubi here, we managed to get ourselves out of the panic zone where we forgot to bring any food and get, start getting ourselves into a more sustainable future. The next thing we need to do to try and get, out the, get ourselves a little bit more sustainable here is to try and support ourselves in the water. Waterfront. We are slowly pulling away our water stocks here and we need to improve them and of course the classic way of doing so in Oxygen Not Included is to run a toilet through. Yes indeed. We're going to start changing these guys up into uh, the water based toilets. What have we got? The lavatory here. Uh, there's also a water based sink. They both actually make a little bit more water than they consume. A little bit more polluted water than they, they consume. So to deal with that we're going to need a water sieve as well. So we're going to pop that up there. I'm probably going to end up moving this coal generator. It it really is in the way. Uh, to run the water sieve though, we're going to need to make ourselves some sand and of course we have down here some igneous rock being turned into sand. We're going to take a little bit to do that. Whilst these guys are going around doing the jobs that I have just set up, get the sand ready, get that up and running, over on Tyrannu we have a, bit of, a little bit of a situation going where Random Random is here. He's not having a great time. I, found, I discovered this at the end of a last episode and he, he's just not, not really doing well. The main reason is, of course, because he has to come down here to turn the oil refinery over. And despite my placing down lots of sculpting blocks here, it, it's still, it is just horrendous down here. Absolutely horrendous. Most of it coming from the liquid pipes and wires. Uh, but of course, there is decor, uh, sorry, there is uh, debris on the floor and stuff like that as well. Even the oil refinery itself does not help the situation. So we need to go around, we need to place briar seeds in all these pots that I've placed down everywhere. I think he's spending a lot of time going back and forth between this bristle blossom patch and the grill up here. And that's also making us a little bit of a recreation area for people to hang out. I'm hoping that all these different things combined are going to lead to random randomers having a much better time. Uh, this, is, this is the first steps. I, I don't know what else we're going to be able to try, but we, we will start trying more and more and more things. I mean, the other thing we can do, of course, is to skill scrub him. He's got quite a few points being spent here and indeed is over morale by quite a bit. Uh, we, we could take out the mechatronics now. I don't think we need it. In fact, let's do that right now. Actually, before we put him in there, I remember there was a reason that we had a mechatronics engineer. Let's come over here. Let's make ourselves a nice little setup to this poke shell farm that we've been making. As you can see, we've got one poke shell, but we've also got a pinch row next to it. Two of them, in fact. Uh, this means that this guy is super angry. That's their their eggs. Uh, they get angry around their eggs. I put up this auto sweeper to be able to deal with it, but I also uh, ended up not having enough materials for things like a conveyor loader. Now that we have the materials, I should definitely put these in place. So the idea here is the auto sweeper picks up the eggs, also the sand and something else that these guys produce, the malt, uh, and just dumps it over here, at which point everybody else picks up uh, what needs to be done and moves it around. This should make things a lot nicer. Briar seeds going around, going down everywhere. This is nice. Where is Randomers right now? Okay, he's going around doing jobs. The whole area here just is absolutely disgusting. No wonder people are not having good times. More importantly, why is he doing this polluted dirt stuff over making this? I don't, I don't know. Okay, they came to get on it as a group. Fair enough. Oh, another thing we need to do. Pintro, incubate, go. Okay, I'm just going to say all. I think, I think that's how we're going to do this. It's going to pick up everything that's lying around and just pop it up this way. Really, if I, uh, if I, if I could figure out everything that's going on here, we need to put some sort of... Oh, look, it's done it already. Oh, beautiful. So this is the critter drop-off, and that's been brought over there. That's cool. I wonder why it got moved automatically. I didn't set that, which is what I wanted to do. Okay, we'll just leave that like that and see how it how it behaves. So I've put this critter drop off so that the ranchers will come along and pick up the pintro and pop them down there. Okay, so I think everything has been set up. Oh, if I could set up a, a, a sorting system here, I would then drop stuff down uh, the sand and such to the teleporter, send it back to the main base. Uh, that's everything we need to do with randomers. Let's, uh, let's get him scrubbed, let's get him calm, let's get him back to normal. Okay, this area should have plenty of power to scrub him clean. He doesn't particularly need any skills to go around and do the jobs he's doing at the moment, but we will come remember to come back and give him some later on. Let's get back to Shirubi. You see, I've set up a few pipes over here. This is the water in coming from the uh, the pipe over there. Uh, this is the water coming out of the toilets and the sink. That's going to go up and into the water sieve, and this is going to then come out of the top. And this is kind of the interesting bit that I need to set up. If we come down here and set up this uh, this bridge, 
bridge on the bottom of the line here and bring this pipe down to meet this bridge. Now any water that is cleaned is going to get fed back into the toilet system preferentially. Uh, I would really like to set this place up as a chlorine area. Uh, as we're going to move the, the coal generator that shouldn't be too difficult to set up. Um, so that we can sanitize our liquids. I wonder if I could move this down here and then have a water store a uh, water a liquid reservoir that's what i was thinking of a liquid reservoir down here we'd have to move this pipe but that's not too difficult wow that is quite the reach oh night time this probably really isn't helping as well let's cancel all the other sweep orders and see if we can't get them moved in the morning there's a lot of debris on the floor where they're sleeping and obviously they spend a lot of time uh during the day slept yeah look at this this is horrible yeah this is this is probably going to be a, a, a major part of it a few cycles in, and of course, we've only got this patchwork of pipes done. It's, it's kind of the way that ha these things happen. Uh, we have managed to let all the pips out, though. This was a mistake. Uh, when we were putting the pipe through here, we took out some natural tiles. There was definitely a spill of carbon dioxide, but I've managed to put it back with the help of the coal generator that I've already ripped down. Uh, I'm reworking the way of doing this, of uh, bringing the power in. Uh, if we hit F2, it used to come up and across here, but of course, we could have just jumped straight through here. Uh, I'm also working, as soon as the auto save is done on getting a liquid reservoir in this space here uh, we've got some chlorine right down at the bottom it's not much but we should be able to extra oh oh it's only one I mean there is chlorine here there's also chlorine here but I'm not sure whether I want to go messing with that well, I mean again no radiation maybe I do want to go messing with that Another thing I've noticed, we've run out of the uh, the high stress over this way. Let's go and have a look at Randomers. He's around, bound to be around somewhere. Okay, yeah, he's uh, he's doing the good. Uh, lost his hat, unfortunately, but that's the way of things. Cooking. Okay, that's cool. The lice loaf is pretty much just left on the floor to rot so that we can feed these guys. Not not that we actually get to feed them that often. Oh, he's been starving for a while. Okay, so, so this one got a little bit away from me, so let me explain where we're at. Uh, I wanted to put the power in here, but then I realised we couldn't get both a power transformer and a battery in here at the same time. Plus, we want a little bit of automation to make sure the liquid reservoir is actually cleaning out uh, the, the, the chlorine, is making use of the chlorine and cleaning out the uh, the germs from the water. So we, we're not going to be able to put anything in here. So I decided to put the power transformer and a smart battery at the top. But of course, of course, there's no way for the power transformer to... What was that? Well, it's disappeared already. So there's no way for the power transformer to be losing any heat. So it's just started to build up a lot of heat in this area. So I've decided to come through and try and make it its own little pocket area. Uh, we're going to rip this bit of gold gold wire out here. We're going to put an airlock in and a block across it. And then that should make us a nice little like gas bubble up here. And then even if it's carbon dioxide, it can exchange temperature with the tile down below. Uh, maybe when we get this all sealed off, we'll actually like pop a hole through there so we can spread some, uh, some of our tasty tasty oxygen up there which we are actually running out of because we have run out of wait, wait, yellow alert what's going why why is nobody doing this oh uh, hicks is on it right now okay fine fine fair enough uh we we also need to mine some more algae we're uh running dreadfully low oh i may have pushed them a little far i may have pushed them a little far messes have been made that was that was unfortunate but we did manage to get this sealed in the reason that i have been panicking so much is look at oh we're at 63 degrees this is this is just gonna melt this is gonna oh 125 that's that's kind of better than i thought it would be but man that's that's not that's not great we need we need to get this tile popped out uh press f4 bam flooded is it is this gonna start going down please yeah, dropping, dropping very, very fast. Look at that, 35, 30, great. All right, plan, plan actually worked. Actually worked, wow. Okay, with the application of power, we've got some water flowing into the system. This could be a little bit premature, I'm not sure yet. We've got one toilet sat here ready to go. Uh, it is gonna pass up and into the water sieve. I'm not sure whether we're gonna wanna move the water sieve because we have not got any chlorine in here yet. If we come over and go to the gas, yeah, no, no chlorine, just polluted oxygen. So, how are we going to get the chlorine in there? Uh, well, for starters, I thought about moving all of this up one, up one so we can move this tile across and have a little bit of a tighter scenario around there. But, but, but we've got some chlorine down here. Is it going to be enough? I don't know. But I'm willing to investigate. I'm willing to give it a go. Uh, if we take out this bottom ladder here and we just dig a little bit into the... Uh, uh, does nobody have super hard digging? Let's have a look. I mean, it looks like Subs wants to have it. There you go, sir. There you go. Oh, 
Oh! Well, here's a problem I've never had before. It's an unmodded game, so let's report that crash. Okay, great. Wow, I wonder what went wrong there. Okay, let's give it a second go. I've put my own personal little power system on this side. I thought it'd be a little bit much to try and run all this power line down through here. Oh, it would just take too long. So we've got to build a manual generator. It does mean that we're going to expose someone to a little bit of slime lung. A little bit of slime lung, you know. Uh, but I'm sure that will work out okay in the end. All we're going to do is we're going to just pump up everything. Oh, I didn't want to make that still. Ah, still, no, no, no. All we're going to do is pump up all the gases that are here. Hopefully trying to get some of this chlorine as we go through. We're going to have a little detection system here. It's a bit hard to see in the wireframe, but I'll show you when it's done. There's a detection system here. Spews out all the gases that are not chlorine. Canister filler. And then we're going to take a, take it up here where we're going to put a canister emptier down and tip it all in to this area. Using some powers of persuasion, we've managed to get Head Chef Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire the third, second, sorry, I keep getting that wrong, uh, to come down and dig out some of this abyssal light. Unfortunately, the pump is just a little bit flooded and it wouldn't let me mop. It's not giving me any reason why or anything. It's just like, no, you cannot mop here. I'm like, okay, fair enough. With both of these being taken out, though, it should enable us, let's just speed that up a little bit, should enable us to start the pumping of the gases, apart from nobody has done this. Th th thanks very much, uh, Head Chef Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire II. This is very, very helpful. This is already set up to check for chlorine, and if it's not chlorine, then the gas, the uh, the high pressure gas vent here is open. Uh, it should hopefully uh, enable this chlorine to be sucked up by this gas pump. It's going to upset the delicate balance of this dust cap, but I think that's worth the pressure. There's some chlorine. Look, we got we got a bit. We got a bit. Awesome. No, we'll leave this on high priority. We'll see who uh, who gets on it. I uh, also want to get these errands dug out. I think we're probably going to have to uh, let that go at high priority because there's more chlorine back there. And unfortunately, we cannot dig out the radium. We don't have the digging skills that are required. Is it, was that was that night time? Ah, okay. So the canister filler says that it fills for uh, easy transport. It doesn't say how big a canister is. No, no, it doesn't mention that at all. That's that's awkward. Okay, so according to the wiki, this guy just sits here passively. He's picked up... Oh, I should show you, I should show you. He's picked up all the gas that is available to us here. There's no chlorine left in the system. We pumped up, pumped the circulation around enough times to pick it all up. Uh, so now we need to get this canister emptier done. Let's uh, bump it up on the priority number here. Yeah, Hicks is on it. Beautiful. Looks like he might have been on it already. <laughs> Okay, so the canister emptier is down. We go, hello, can you deliver some chlorine, please? We'll put that up at a high priority. No pending deliveries, I disagree. Ah, enable auto bottle. Will that do it? Will that do it? Let's uh, run it going. No, okay. <laughs> Okay, we've released that bubble over there. Again, to my better judgment, because this is blatantly going to come storming through at some point. We've got this, this little bit of chlorine left to try and pick up. Is it going to go for it? I don't know, I don't know. So we're going to just leave it running. Hopefully this will get to some sort of situation where it can be transported. We've currently got 2.6 kilograms in there, and I love the fact that it's covered in germs. Chlorine covered in germs. Okay, I've got two crazy plans to enact. Let's go empty storage and see what happens when we hit that button. Is it just going to release it to the world? We'll find out. The other one is to try and build a ladder coming down here because this is actually full of chlorine. And I remind you once again, no radiation. Uh, these look a little bit weird though. Like flowers that capture critters. I mean, it, it sounds cool. Critter traps are carnivorous plants that trap unsuspecting critters and consume them, releasing hydrogen as waste. That doesn't sound like a great way of keeping your critters. <laughs> Okay, all right, cool. That, I asked uh, Dr. Captain Subs to come down here and open the canister, empty the canister, and it happened. And it happened. Beautiful. So now we need someone to come along and uh, make this happen. Good work, Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire II. It'll, it'll roll off the tongue at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, here comes the delivery. I'm going to watch in the materials overlay. Let's just uh, strip that down to just gases. So we, oh, that's not gases. Just gases so we can see what's going on. I've never used a canister empty. I couldn't. I, I don't know if you could tell the whole way through this, but yeah, it's, this is this is a first time for me. It's got a little spike on top. That's cool. Is this going to go in there? I'm a little bit worried that because uh, Dr. Captain Sub... Oh yeah, the card can't do his animation. It's going to take a little while, but this is good. Uh, the chlorine is out. Is it going to displace the carbon dioxide? That's what we need to know. Is it going to get down? and under it. More importantly, is it killing my, my food germs here? I, th I think it might be, actually. I think it might be. 
how do we stir up the carbon dioxide here? How do we do it? Okay, here's the plan. I've got a mini gas pump. It's going to pump up everything it can and send it into a gas pipe. As soon as I grab it, it'll come up here. We'll do the same situation where we're going to just pump out all of the... Where, where is it? Uh, gas element sensor. All of the chlorine that we find. That some automation wire in the background. Let's get rid of that. That's that's totally not where we need it. Okay, so all the chlorine that we pick up, we're gonna, just going to drop again. And then I'm going to run this gas pipe up a little bit further and just drop all the rest of the gases up and out of here and that should enable us to get rid of all the carbon dioxide leaving just chlorine stuck in a well at the bottom it's a little awkward but it's a good way of filtering okay so it's kind of working i've not thought about how we're going to turn it off we'll probably just have to deconstruct it at some point but it's getting to the point where it's covering this whole thing in chlorine we've got more water coming in from somewhere is that true i suppose this is going around and uh, diluting down yeah maybe maybe Okay, at this point we've got a good well of, cut of chlorine sat at the bottom, so I think I'm going to try and destroy everything now. So after my extensive study of watching this overnight, I believe it is this tile on the side here that is responsible for whether the germs inside are suffering under chlorine or not. As you can see, we are getting quite down, uh, down quite low. These guys have done their morning cycle. They also did an evening cycle, so two loads of germs have gone in here. And we're down to 3,000. Whether we're going to actually make it down uh, to... Uh, actual clean? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm yet to see it happen. Oh, that was close. We had a little bit of mucky water in the pipes there. Let's destroy all these pipes and be safe, right? Okay, this is a little awkward as I don't know what to do with it, but I do believe it dies on this liquid. Uh, there's there's no, no germs there. Okay, that, that could also be good. Like this, this definitely has germs. <laughs> there's there's just a lot of germs everywhere. Oh, classic. The water completely displaced the chlorine out there. Ah, oh, that's, that's about as bad as it could have got. Okay, we're going to have to figure out how to get some chlorine in here. That's why I left this pressure, this uh, high-pressure vent, though. Okay, no surface germs. Okay, this is amazing. We've actually got clean, fresh water leaving the pipes. It could have gone in to feed all the other latrines and stuff, but instead it's now coming out. We find out exactly if it's got any uh, germs in at all as it dumps itself into our water line over here. You can see I've also gone and got ourselves the gas line coming down all the way down here. I've taken out the, uh, the canister filler, and we're going to go down and try and get some of this chlorine out of here. Maybe drop some of this warm water in. Maybe we'll melt a few things. Uh, I'm particularly looking to turn this chlorine into gas. And then as some of the dirty water comes in, it should go past this sensor, turn it red. Okay, beautiful. And we won't be able to see it most of the time because it just cycles around the pipes. But it's all right. We will build up enough to start the process all over again. And then we'll get some nice clean water out of it. I need to deal with the rest of these toilets though. So the water system now seems robust enough to be able to deal with any of the polluted water that we make. I feel like we need to have some sort of external system for throwing. Uh, let's have a look down here. We've got some uh, bottles of polluted water where people may have made a little bit of a mess where I didn't give them enough time not on the panic stations. Uh, I think we've done all that we can do around here though. We have got ourselves a few uh, wild plants on the go. Instead, In fact, we've got wild plants all over this place that we're trying to keep uh, keep ourselves alive with. I would have liked more of these pips to have planted more of the fungal spores. Maybe there's a bit of a crowding issue here. I can only assume so. I think next time we're going to go through and open up this whole area here. We're also going to try and get ourselves a little bit of a puffed farm on the go because uh, increasing our stocks of slime, which is what happens when these guys eat the polluted oxygen. They poop out slime. That's pretty good. And then you put the slime into our domesticated dust caps over here and that'll be our solid food uh, sorted for this rock. I'm just going to take a quick moment to go and have a look at the other places more in particular I want to know there's the boy let's have a look random randomers what are you up to you seem to be doing okay bit of a pop teardrum situation on the go but there's nothing that can't be solved stress is zero are looking good I think we've uh, managed to solve any and all problems that we had over here anything else we need to take note of uh, the systems seem to be fine this 
This flooding is not great. I, that, that's something we'll have to have a look at some other time. Coming over to Yakil just to make sure everything's all okay over here as well. We've got oxygen turning. We've got this turning over. One thing I forgot to do, obviously, with uh, over on Tyranno, we built ourselves a little bit of a poke shell farm. It's turning over. We are getting more poke shells dumped in there all the time. But this has, of course, meant that we have built up huge, well, not huge stacks, but quite some substantial stacks of lime. So I'm now going to put this back onto forever. Hopefully, this. This guy will keep this area cool enough. We've got down to 20 degrees here. This is not leaking any heat because it is surrounded by the insulated box. Okay, yeah, that no, looks good. We're going to get our steam, our steel going full automatic. That's great. That's uh, the thing that we started at the beginning of the episode going working all the way through fruition beautiful beautiful and i think with that we are going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i'll see you next time when we're going to do all the things that i just spoke about and i will see you then when we're going to do that bye